Welcome to Jackson Blue Springs. We're out here diving today. Going down right over there. Below that diving board is the entrance to the Jackson Cave System. Now we're not cave diving because we're not cave divers, but we are going in and checking out the cavern. We've already done one dive on it. Let me tell you, this is probably the coolest cavern that I've ever dove in. It's wide open. It's cool. It's got a right side passage and a left side passage. You gotta be kind of careful though. If you're going around the left hand side, you can actually get behind the Grim Reaper sign. So you're actually starting to go into the cave system and you don't even know it if you're on the left hand side. So just be cautious about that. But if you guys are diving and you guys want to come check out a really cool cavern and just a really cool place to dive, I mean, this is it. It doesn't get much better than this. And if you're just a family and you want to come hang out, man, they got a diving board, they got a slide. It's like super shallow. And even if you go up the diving board over where the cavern's at, then uh, the water just kind of pushes you back up. So it's like super safe. Check this out. I mean, it's almost like swamp land. It's like Georgia swamp, but crystal clear water. All right, welcome back to Below the Surface. So like I said, we are in Jackson Blue Springs. And we are just diving the cavern. Not going into the cave, because I ain't trying to go out like that. All right, as you can see, we're uh, just going in. Still plenty of light. I'm going to hit my flashlight, though. Brighten things up a little bit. All right, so for all my friends and family that are watching this, the difference between a cave and a cavern, by definition, a cavern, you can still see light coming from whatever way you came in. Whereas a cave, you're in uh, complete darkness and you rely on that guideline to help find your way back. So when you hear me talk about cavern diving, that's what I'm talking about. We're never going in deep enough to where we can't actually see our exit, which makes cavern diving a little bit more safe. Now it's not completely safe because we're still in an overhead environment and we can't just go to the surface if something goes wrong. So it's very important to keep in mind if you ever do attempt to come into a cavern. I definitely don't recommend coming into a cavern if you're not an experienced diver. Even for the experienced divers and the experienced cave divers, coming out is not always guaranteed. A diver has drowned at Blue Springs Recreation Area in Jackson County. This happened around 12.30 this afternoon. Jackson County Emergency Services officials say that two cave divers were exploring the underwater caves at Blue Springs. One of them got caught and could not return to the surface. A man's diving partner attempted to free him but could not. He returned to the surface to get help. County officials and a rescue diver made another attempt to save the man, but their efforts were unsuccessful. Authorities have not released the idea identity of the man or any other details. This is a developing story. We'll have more information on it as soon as it becomes available. And that rescue diver that they were talking about is none other than Ed Swanson. Huge cave diver has taken part in many rescues and recoveries and is very well known in the cave diving and scuba diving communities. And Jackson Blue Springs, just right down the road from Cave Adventurers, has claimed the lives of 10 individuals. So even though it's wide open and it looks enticing, it can be dangerous. And if you don't know what you're doing, it can take your life. Now I don't say all that to scare people from going into caverns or getting trained in going into caverns or going into caves. It definitely takes a different type of person, but it's not impossible. And just like anything else, if you get trained to do it and you practice and you have a plan and you dive your plan, then it's not scary at all. It's just another day of diving. And it's funny that this shot would come up because you see that light that's in my left hand. That's an Orca Torch D710. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that light too because full disclosure, Orca Torch did send me that light to test out. And I figured what better place to test it out than a deep, dark, and scary cavern. So we're gonna turn the lights off here in a little bit. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that light, and let you guys know what my opinion of it is. Full disclosure though, they did send it to me, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna give you a tainted review because um, there are a couple of flaws to it that I will tell you about. But before I get into that, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, if you take this left passage that we took, as you can see, I'm gonna come over this limestone. And as I come over it, you're going to see the guideline from the right passage. And then right up over here, you can kind of see it right now. Shine my light to it. 
But there it is, the back side of the Go No Further Grim Reaper sign. So had I not looked right and I just decided to go left when I went over that limestone, I could have went into the cave a lot more not knowing that I was actually going into the cave system. So just keep that in mind if you guys do come into the cavern area that there is a chance that you can get into the cave without seeing that warning. But then again, you should know where you're at at all times. And this sounds like a perfect time to talk about that light. So as you see, pitch black. Turn the light on. We're gonna go into the high setting. 1700 lumens, runtime, one hour and 40 minutes. And if I go to the mid setting, that's 800 lumens, and it can run for three hours and 50 minutes. The low setting, 400 lumens, and it can run for seven hours and 40 minutes. And then if I go to the turbo mode, it's 3000 lumens. And all that sounds good and great, and it is actually a pretty good light. But the one thing that I don't like is it advertises that it's got 3000 lumens. But the only way that you can do that is if you hold down the button while the light is on. So while you're in the high setting, if you hold down the button, it gives you that turbo mode. So it's not a continuous 3000 lumens. It's a continuous 1700 lumens until you hold down that button. But as soon as you let your finger off, it's back to 1700 or whatever setting you're on. So it's kind of misleading in that sense. But other than that, it's a heck of a light. I used it on this dive. And then just this past weekend, I used it on a lionfish hunt and it helped me find some of those lionfish in some of the dark areas. And I look forward to bringing it to Egypt with me in a couple months when I go to the Red Sea. Anyways, back to this springs. Here we are with the uh, little fossils, all the sand dollars, probably about a million sand dollars in this place. I'm not even kidding. And then some, uh, some fresh bones over here. I don't know what the heck this could have been. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments below. But I don't know how the heck it's inside of here, especially with the flow rate. Very interesting. Speaking of that flow rate, Jackson Blue Springs spits out 76 million gallons of water a day, which is insane. That's a ton of water. I was going to put a whole bunch of gallons on here, but then I got bored after like 20. So you guys are going to have to deal with it. Seriously though, Jackson County is one of the leading agricultural counties in Florida. And Jackson Blue Springs is a main contributing factor on why they can be ranked number one. Without this aquifer, we wouldn't have the agricultural in North Florida that we have. So it's pretty awesome. And then again, here's the entrance to the cavern. And you always got to go for that hero shot. Check me out. There I am. Just floating. That's pretty cool. It was also pretty exciting to see all the fish that were down here. There were some huge bass and some awesome bluegill and some other fish that I don't know what the heck they were. But if you guys know what they are, leave a comment down below and let me know what they are. That's about it for me. Our safety stop is just about up. We're going to let the flow take us out and we're going to get back to the surface. If you guys are ever close to Mariana, Florida and you want to check out a pretty cool cavern, stop by Cave Adventures, check in with them. Sign your name, let them know you're there. Head over and check this place out, man. It's pretty cool. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Well, guys, that's it. Two dives. We're back at Cave Adventures to check out from the cavern. And uh, I don't know, probably pick up a souvenir or two. Look at this. You guys are in the area. Come check them out. Come check out this cavern. It was pretty freaking sweet.